welcome to Hey Teen TV. Back on hay, Ads is raking, Dad is bailing, Charlie and I have just brought over the little baby Merlo for, to help loading. We today are on the furthest, well, furthest fields from the home farms. So it takes us a little bit longer to get stuff back. But I've just come over with the RTV, pick Charlie up as we're starting the day, uh, take him back. So he can get a tractor and trailer, I'll get the JCB 536 and trailer um, and get on with it. So you can speak to Adam in two seconds. Well, metaphoric two seconds. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the little gag of winning a JCB 4220. Hope you appreciated that. We thought it'd be quite funny. Bit of clickbait, as some of you said, which, yes, yeah, we did do that. But it's for a good cause, so if anyone can help us out and want to win them, that'd be brilliant. You right, Char? Yeah, good, you? Yeah, good. Wave jar, they're watching, you're watching. Um, so, yeah, as I said, we're on hay, furthest block from the farm, and let's go for it. You can chat to Adam now, or hear what Adam's gonna say, because you can't reach out back. We can in messages, but you know what I mean. Oh, and before I, before I pass it over, you can, uh, to help our channel, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe. But ads over to you. Right, good afternoon, everybody. Right, so I'm over here raking. Boss man behind, is behind me uh, bailing. We've had this uh, hay on the floor now for nearly a week because all we've had to contend with last week and the weekend is rain, rain, oh yeah, and a little bit more rain. So we're finally, finally picking up today. We were hoping to bail on Friday, being the hottest day of the year, but you guys up north, you did have the hottest day of the year and you didn't have rain and you had clear, sc clear skies. We did in the morning, but come 12 o'clock, one o'clock, it decided to piss down. So that was that. So we spent all day Saturday turning the grass and what did it decide to do then? Rain. So got that sorted, ready to go yesterday, about three o'clock afternoon and it rained. So that was that. Didn't do any damage though, it was just getting the, just got wet on top. Um, but again, we, you know, you can't even go out and turn that because you just put in the wet, the wet underneath the grass anyway. So you just leave it, let it air off again. So we let it air off last night and obviously this morning let the dew all go. And we've rode straight up. I mean, to be fair, it's actually looking really, really nice. I mean, it's the, the color, change of color hasn't really happened much like that still a nice greeny colour but again could be possibly better but to be fair the amount of rain that we have had it's, it's all right and we've kept turning it anyway just keep airing it up keeping it alive and um, well here we are now so hopefully we can pick all this up today that's another 40 acres well picked up and then that's it for a minute and I think we've got one more well, field and a bit left to first cut and then on the second it's been a bit hit and miss with cutting recently you know, due to the weather because it's been so pissing patchy but we'll get there we always do every year but there we go we'll just go and see what justin is up to
on I think we're on load two Charlie show a trick all the trailers so guys if you come in here so uh, we've got to run these uh, bottom links above or below the draw arm here or draw bar yeah oh, yeah draw bar because um, this one's thicker than Justin and Adams so as he's on about the box there is deeper I'll show you mine in a second but Two tricks, either on this trailer, we drop the jack off, uh, if the trailer's staying on all day, drop the jack off and put the link arms below the drawbar. Or at the moment, if I bring you around, you can see we take the pin, pull the link arm up, so it's the hole or the pin there is actually below the arm. So as you see, the arm can go up even further. So that's just a thing. We whip over to my trailer. You can see the depth of the drawbar isn't as deep. Yeah. And then the other thing, you guys asking again, even though I did this ages and ages and ages ago, why do you put the top bales flat? Because these bales are basically six foot, or I know they're like five foot eight, but round it up. See, it's just easier to say. If we put it the other way up, its centre of gravity is like really, really high. And if I come across here, so if they were on their round, you only lose about a foot in that little V. So you still got five foot in the air. Um, it's, it's just been proved safer that with six foot, trailer's eight foot. That means you only just got like, you know, a foot, foot and a little bit either side of these bales. It just holds them in better. Yeah, they ride, yeah. They ride better. They keep it safer, and that top one then's got more surface area to grip the two underneath. So you boys are asking, we, we're just not carrying four foots anymore. If we were carrying four foots, we would whack them down through the trailer on the top row on the rounds like normal. But because they're not, to try and keep the height of the trailer down and to keep grip with the bales underneath, we leave them like that. We have had them on the top before, and you just see them going back the road, and the top ones are just just swaying like this. Yeah, it's just it's just for safety, really. But each their own. Just if you anyone goes to start making bigger bales and making like five foot eight, six foot bales, just something you might want to think about.
creaking uh, water meadow here now. It's um, quite steep, full of different undulations, different contours, and the coon rake is handling it really well. Really, really pleased with it. Um, I mean, I'm always a bit skeptical of these newer rakes, should I say, because there's nothing that really does the the rocking axle anymore. The lady used to do the rocking axle, but pick up everything. But this rake has got the 3D system, they call it. And I must admit, it doesn't look like much, but it picks up every blade of grass going, you know, through, going through your undulations and your contours. It just picks up everything. I'm really, really impressed with it. Really impressed with it. Um, like I said in a few other videos, she's, she's out of um, a few um, teeth and problems, but nothing that couldn't be sorted out by beers. And really, really pleased. Really pleased, really pleased with the backup from them. And really pleased with the rake. I mean, no matter what you buy nowadays, stuff does go wrong at the end of the day, it is a machine. So that's just life, I'm afraid. So there we go. But handled it really well. Like I said, really pleased. Charlie has literally just left for the last load. I'm not needed. Here's the barn. Fairly full. Last bay. This is the second time this shed's been filled up this year. I took the last two loads out of it first thing this morning. Yeah, I know I should have videoed that, but I was in a rush. It was early. I was getting my head together this morning. Hey, anyway, yes, they're on their rounds. If you've got questions on that, there are videos pre at the beginning of, beginning of all episodes why we do that. If you need to ask again, I'll talk about that again in the video. But it's taken us three extra days to get this point because we've caught two showers on this lot of hay, which is absolutely pain in the neck. But they're only small showers. We've still got a nice bit of green like really nice bit of green in this hay so even with a little bit of shower on this it stayed really nice but i'm going to get this last load whilst i wait for charlie for the last i think six bales so you can have a look at this
So I've just got back and finally found his highness. Good day. Uh, so Why are you out of breath? I'm busy, Justin. Doing? Well, I've been breaking all day and I come back and done your um, cock up. So yeah, that's why I'm out of breath. <laughs> I broke a belt on one of the machines. So as we weren't that busy and didn't have quite the crop we imagined today, um, Ad didn't come out bringing bales in. He went and just fixed up on a different job. His rake behaved. Rake has behaved and seems to be touch wood. We're all all right. We're all all right. It's done everything that we've asked for it today. I mean, you couldn't get much better over there, could you, of all the different contours and undulations and all that. Yeah. But no, we seem to be going all right. We, we haven't really shown off the ground over there to for anyone to understand what it sort of uh, gets like. The it's a bit, it's a bit of a any. test. Yeah, it's a bit of a test for everything, isn't it? Yeah, but the videos never seem to... Hang on, excuse me, five seconds. I bet some misses. Yeah. <laughs> um, the ground, I don't think the video, we've seen the videos of the RTVs and all that. I don't think the videos really do how steep it is. Over yeah. There, to be honest, but it is quite And how steep. much it moves. Yeah, and how much it all moves, yeah. Yes, it's, it's a bit like surfing, surfing tractors on land. Yeah, it is. So, without any further ado though, if you would like to see more of us, you can find us on all these different platforms snapchat twitter facebook and instagram if you haven't yet done so you can press the subscribe and if you want to help our channel grow please ring that bell and give us a thumbs up um also if you have any interest in a bit of merch um you can find that on ebay just put in the hating tv and have a look if you want some or not there will be other bits and bobs popping up at some point but we are trying to get to that as fast as we can bear with us we won't miss father's day next time no no that was a big well it was really it was really hard to do while covid was going on though wasn't it yeah it was with everything else on it really because every everyone we tried to get hold of to <laughs> on get stuff to we were on furlough so, yeah, so. We, we tried we really tried and just but couldn't get things to massive match thank up. you to the people that have bought already yeah, Much huge thank you. Huge thanks. Awesome, guys. Hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope hope you like it. Um, hope it's good. Well, I hope the postman brings it to you quite quickly as well, because I'm in charge of the posting. I do try and get it out as quick as I can. But again, remember, it will be posted. I know on eBay it says it'll be posted after three days maximum, but sometimes just give, you know, we can't always get there. So I'm trying to do it every Friday if I can. If we don't have such a big order, then it'll be posted as well you know when i can so just please bear with us you will get your stuff but as always thank you guys so much for one if you've already subscribed and two for watching because without all of you this channel wouldn't have grown yeah, we, as fast as it has we've got nothing. which is yeah which is nuts and we're still both a bit overcome how fast things have gone aren't we we only wanted 100 subscribers yeah that was, that was it that was the goal 100 subscribers <laughs> So. We did that a long time ago. Yeah, we did. Anyway, you lot must be fed up with us talking. Yeah. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. See you next one. Cheers.